All right, today we're looking at the Acer Aspire X1301. Now, this is a really sweet little computer. Uh, very small, very small form factor for kind of having in your house. If you don't want to have a full-size desktop, this thing has all the power that the full-size desktops do. It's just really small, and it's very modernized. It's got a nice graphics card, HDMI out. It's got a lot of good, good features now. This actual computer, this PC, comes in several different variations, so I want you guys to know which configuration this is. This config is the U9052. So keep that in mind because that's what differentiates these uh, from the others. All right, now let's talk about the specifications on this thing. Now, first of all, as far as processor goes, you have an AMD Athlon 2 X2, uh, and that is actually a new chip. I had never heard of it until today. It is a 215. So that is a dual core 2.73 gigahertz AM3 socketed uh, CPU with one megabyte of L2 cache. So uh, very small very efficient chip it's not super duper powerful but it will do just about everything that you want it to do including playing high def videos uh, it'll do 1080p it'll do uh, youtube videos in hd full screen no problem uh, and then of course you can run a multitude of programs you can even run uh, you know cs4 photoshop on here no problem stuff like that is not gonna have a problem running on this chip you also have four gigabytes of DDR2 memory, so that's enough to run just about anything that you could possibly ever want. Uh, you also have a huge hard drive. That's why uh, this thing, since it's so small, it makes a really good media center PC because it's got a huge 750 gigabyte hard drive. So it's very, very impressive. And also, as far as graphics cards go, uh, very impressive as well. Take a look at the back on this thing. I'm just going to show it to you uh, right there. See, it's got a dedicated slimline graphics card. So uh, this is a NVIDIA GT. 2010. Uh, so very nice. It's 512 megabytes of dedicated uh, GDDR3 memory. It's got an HDMI port on one side. It's got a DVI port on the other. You still have one expansion slot left right here. And you will notice that if you come down over here, uh, over here we got a old DVI port and an old HDMI port that have both been blocked off. And that's because they added the dedicated graphics card. So that's going to give you a nice boost in general performance. And while we're back here, we might as well uh, go over some stuff, starting uh, with this 5.1 channel uh, HD audio right here. Down here, you have 10, 100, 1000 Ethernet. Uh, you have four USB 2.0 ports shared here and here. Uh, you have a eSATA port, so this is really nice. If you need more than 750 gigabytes, you're a, you're a downloading fiend. You should seek help, but you can add it a big hard drive. And then also down here, you have two uh, PS2s. Now, don't worry, uh, those four USB ports are not all that you have. You have a ton of USB ports, uh, and I'll show them to you. They're actually down here. Come down here, Producer Dan, and uh, zoom in a little bit, because I want to surprise them. Bam! Look at all that good stuff down there. That is where your headset and your microphone ports are. You have an additional four USB 2.0 ports, bringing the total uh, to eight here, and you have an additional one right here, so that's nine. You have a 1394 iLink Firewire. You have a big card reader up here. It's going to do SD, XD, your MMSs, uh, your Sony sticks, all that stuff is going to go in there. And then my favorite, a CF card reader. So if you're a photographer and you have a DSLR and you're using CF cards, you can definitely uh, throw them in there. Another interesting thing about this, uh, if you come right up on over here, I will show you this thing does have a very nice... Uh, super multi DVD drive. So right there, it's going to do all the different formats. Uh, your plus R's, your minus R's, your RAMs, your ROMs, your dual layers. It will do it all uh, right there. So very, very nice uh, computer. It's got a really nice setup. And the price, I got to tell you guys, is incredible. Uh, just a few other things I want to take note of before I let you guys go. Uh, this is your power button up here. This is your hard drive activity light over here. And uh, when you buy this, also included in the package uh, are a keyboard which is in that box right there, and a mouse. So you do get everything you need. Uh, full keyboard, nothing really too special, but very nice. And you also get the mouse. Uh, so basically add the monitor and you are good to go. So this thing uh, is quite impressive. I like it a lot. Uh, and I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but it does have the latest and greatest operating system, Windows 7 Home Premium. And it is a 64-bit version. So very, very nice, very affordable, very versatile system. It can do. Uh, it can be a home theater PC. It can be your general computing PC. It's got tons of memory, tons of storage, uh, decent processor, and a great great graphics cards you can actually play some games on here so very nice uh, it is the x1301 which is an acer spire and it is the uh u9052 configuration but generally speaking you just want to look for the uh, 215 athlon x2 and four gigabytes of ram and 750 hard drive and that will be the configuration uh, that we are looking at today so very nice if you have questions feel free to email me and i'll see you guys next time for more information on the Acer Aspire X1301, go to com.peter.tv and type in Acer X1301. For Computer TV, I'm Albert.